Okay. So this video is going to be a bit strange, as you can see, the, the title. It is about a dream that I literally just had. It was a bit confusing. I'm not going to remember everything that happened. I'm going to remember the most important things I remember. It's not going to be in order of how I experienced it. It's going to be of, like, the whole thing in total. So, I found out in the end of my dream. But there, I'm inside of a glass bo box. For some strange reason. And the most strange reason of it is that there's Minecraft Redstone inside. It's pretty complicated. And this one guy is a YouTuber. He made it. Um, it was a bit strange. He made it, and then, like, at the end, it was getting destroyed. But one of the weirdest things was that this one girl, she was, like, pretty insane. She was with the wrestler, Jeff Hardy, and she owed him an IOU. She owed him his soul, her soul. And it was a bit strange. All I know is I was trying to skip the time, because... I mean, I know my brother was there, and I was afraid that we were both gonna die. I didn't want that to happen. It was a bit strange. It was like a community place, like, in the main area, the living lobby. Um, and that's where all the strange stuff I found out were. I found out that that girl owed Jeff Hardy her soul. And that she was going to a funeral because she died. It was like more of an IOU favor. And she also owed him his soul. And a bunch of other things happening. I was trying to time travel. And I know you're not getting any of this. Like, this is just strange. I don't get it either. I'm just saying it in, like, weird stuff, right? Because I'm kind of forgetting the dream. But that one girl is the only thing I really remember. She was going insane, right? And I was like, alright, alright. So now, I really do know. I should probably start leaving so like i try to find my brother i'm having trouble i find him and the dream is like basically ba basically over we start destroying the wool because like the rest of them was on wool we start destroying the whole area except the glass and then that's where the dream ends like this is two minutes and 40 seconds to be explaining a dream i don't even get you won't get either it's a bit strange. I wish you could go inside my head and actually see what just happened. I wish I could see my dream and then, like, post it. But honestly, I don't know if I actually want to relive that dream. I woke up very happy that it was not true. And I was like, wow, it's Saturday. I don't have to worry about anything. Man, it, it is a bit strange. I don't even know what the heck happened. And there's some soccer stars there, like Kante. It was all confusing. But it had to do with the theme of insane stuff. Like, it's so hard to explain. It was all like this stuff, and I really don't know why. It wasn't considered a nightmare to me because, I mean, even though I was glad to escape that world, it like wasn't scary it was confusing that's all really but like, i mean i know people will be scared about things they don't know about and stuff but like i don't know I'm just that's weird like i wasn't scared of it it wasn't a nightmare it was a dream and it had some insane stuff in it i don't know why it did like i don't know Probably had to do something with the movie my brother watched yesterday. We were like in a... I was in a different movie. But he watched Child's Play and... Uh, I don't know. I don't think that would be it though. Because Chucky wasn't in that thing at all. N none of the kids were. Well, even though I don't know how they look like. No kids were there. I was probably the only one. And my brother... He was just talking just about the people... It was more like a bunch of movies combined of strange stuff. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know if I made you confused. But anyway, man, peace out.